Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all. So my test drive for the CCVL is almost up, and I figured that while I still have it, I might as well make a video on it. You might remember that I said it was basically going to be an XM8, because it is the early version of the XM8, so I thought I would take both of them out in a lineup and compare the two. You also might notice that the CCVL is pretty ugly. I think the XM8 looks way better. Well, this atmosphere is kind of nice. Okay. Oh, their spawn is right there. I did not notice that. The XM8 definitely feels a lot faster. I think that's because it just weighs less. I will say that the extra damage on M833 is certainly nice. You know, I really don't get why people put such an emphasis on CITVs in War Thunder. I literally never use them. Huh. I don't think I did that much damage to it. Was he... <laughs> was he trying to rush the cap so he could stop me from capping? Not the greatest strat. No? Alright. I'm very glad to see that the CCVL has the same oversteering problem as the XM8. Cannot see. Oh my god, this new smoke. Doing pretty decently so far. But we are fighting Termis players. It's important to remember. Oh, this engine's not making any noise. Um... Wow, that's really cool. Can we catch up to this? Come on, turn again. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if we can annoy this guy. <laughs> you know, I think they should definitely give the XM8 its 40mm grenade launcher, the Mark 19. Because apparently it can mount that, instead of the 50 cal. And a night battle. Great. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, do that. Really do not want to play night battles right now. Honestly, I feel like there isn't much of a difference between the CCVL and XM8, gameplay-wise. Like, the XM8 feels a bit faster. The CCVL feels like it does a bit more damage, but otherwise, they're pretty much identical. Well, I got a somewhat good view before I uh, promptly crash the drone. Got a pretty good flank going on now. Oh. I'm very, very surprised that killed him. Yeah, M833 feels very nice. Way better than C76. Hold on, was that drone dogfighting with that J35? Hmm. The CCVL doesn't have blowout panels either, does it? I really wish it told you on the X-Ray. Probably be really easy to implement, too. Is it just me, or are mixed battles way more common now? It's pretty annoying to think about how the newer XM8 is a lower BR than the older CCVL. I know it's a very, very minor thing, but it's just a pet peeve. And his engine is also making no noise.
Does that count for a kill speed run? <laughs> that was instant. That Puma man, it's insane how the sound issues haven't been fixed yet. Or at least like somewhat addressed, you know? Very nice triple kill. So what's the bet I get revenge killed in like two seconds? Yeah, drones are uh, very cool. So that pretty much reaffirmed my opinion. These tanks perform almost identically to each other. There are some very minor differences, but if you already own one, I wouldn't bother trying to get the other one. Unless you're maybe a collector, I guess. Wait, that striker's not making any noise either. What? The sounds are so broken, it's extending to the hangar. Anyway, if you have suggestions for vehicles you want me to play, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.